Hello, social media family. I am sitting out and was just thinking, oh, I'm gonna go do a live later, and I decided, you know, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna share some of my thoughts on the habit of the week that has been being shared on all of my social media channels about keeping what is sacred to you to yourself. And this is one of these controversial habits that is in my Amazon International best-selling book because intuitively, sometimes we want to go about just sharing our moments of transformation or sharing the some call it downloads, uh, some call it sacred messages. What I'm talking about are those things that uh, that come to you that that are really deep and personal to you that you're committed to fulfilling on. And it can be even like a nascent idea, like a brand new idea in your business that you get really excited about. And the question is do we share these moments? Do we share these transformational moments? Do we share these nation ideas? Do we share the downloads or the sacred messages that we get? And I want you to consider that it's not an automatic yes. I spent seven years uh, leading programs for an international training and development organization. And one of the tenets of that organization was that, you know, if you wanted your new transformational possibility to become alive, to, lit, to be fulfilled, then what there was for you to do is to share this possibility, share this idea with as many people as possible, because only through that would the possibility become realized. And, you know, having spent a lot of time in that organization, uh, it, it was a, a, an adaptation for me to, to consider another point of view, which is, no, that's not always the right answer. It's not always appropriate to share. Sometimes if you have a, a, a budding idea and you share that idea with someone, what ends up happening is that their reaction to that idea has them put their fears, their limitations, their vision of what's possible on top of your idea. Your idea could be fantastic, but you share it with a person like that and they squash it. Sometimes there's something that is is downloaded or you get a sacred message whether you know you're in the god conversation or the universe conversation the divine conversation the the buddha conversation whatever that spiritual conversation is for you but that moment where you get a direct connection with the divine the source and there's there's some message there for you that is really just meant for you and it's also not appropriate to share it may be something that there's something for you to fulfill on. Maybe you share, maybe it's appropriate for you to share some of it. Maybe it's appropriate for you to share none of it. And, or maybe it's appropriate only to share with the, the folks that are going to support you in having that fulfilled. And so I, I leave you with this thought of, you know, what is sacred is yours. And you can ask yourself some questions before deciding whether or not you're gonna to choose to share that. You know, is the person that I'm going to share this with, is this person going to support me or be a positive contribution to the realization of this idea? Number one. Number two, is their life going to be improved by me sharing this? You know, sometimes what there is for you to do is not share it because it has nothing to do with them. And, they have no interest. <laughs> and then the third question I would ask is, is my life, is my personal situation, are my emotions, 
is my well-being going to be improved by me sharing it with this person? And then after stopping and considering those things, then choosing powerfully whether or not you're going to share that idea. That's the habit of the week for this week. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've got any questions for me about it, be sure to uh, send them to me as a direct message or even in the chat messages that are a part of the post. I'll be, uh, I'll be back on next week on Thursday with another habit of the week. And in the meantime, if you wanna check out uh, what I do and or you've got any inclination to, uh, to talk to me about perhaps working together, you can find me at Damien M, as in Mary, read, R-E-I-D dot com, or follow me on any of the social media channels, uh, Damien M. Reed. Have an amazing rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.